Hello everybody, I'm Roman Rodriguez and uh, we're doing additional mathematics and uh, we are starting with a new exercise, exercise 13.3. Remember this is chapter 13 and we are doing permutations and combinations. We are done with permutations, today I'll start with combination. But before I do that, first you understand about uh, the difference between permutation and combination. Permutation is an arrangement. Remember the key word over here is arrangement of objects in a definite order. Okay, and uh, the number of permutations of R objects from N different objects is given by this equation. Permutation P, N objects from R is equals to N factorial over N minus R the whole factorial. Okay, and uh, combination in contrast is any selection of object. Okay, this is the arrangement, this is the selection of objects where the order of the objects is immaterial, of no concern. Here, the, or it has to be in order, here it is of no concern. Okay, uh, now uh, the number of combinations of R objects from N different objects is given by this equation over here. N uh, combination R is equals to N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. So we will be using this formula in order to solve uh, these questions on exercise 13.3. We did use this formula uh, to solve exercise uh, problems on exercise 13.2. So let's begin. Uh, number one, it says here without using a calculate, evaluate C5 ohm. So using this formula, we have 5 factorial upon 4 factorial times 5 minus 4 the whole factorial. So this would give you 5 uh, factorial would give you 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, 3, 2, 1 upon 4 factorial uh, and 5 minus 4 would give you 1 factorial. So 4, 3, 2, 1 and 4 factorial would cancel out. So you left it 5. Okay, 1 factorial means 1. So in the same way, uh, the second part of this question. So you have 9 uh, combination 3. So 9 factorial upon 3 factorial into 9 minus 3 the whole factorial which would give you uh, 9 factorial upon 3 factorial and 9 minus 3 factorial would give you 6 factorial. 9 factorial can be written as 9, 8, 7, 6 factorial. That is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we are 3, 2, 1 upon 6 factorial. 6 factorial, 6 factorial cancel. Uh, 3 will go to 9, 3 times. 2 will go to 8, 4 times. 3, 4s are 12, 12, 7s are 84. There we are. Okay, let's move on to the next question, number 2. It says here the second. Uh, so these are the possible delegations that we have, okay? The second uh, section of a math uh, paper contains seven questions and a candidate must answer any four. So in how many ways uh, can the four questions be chosen? So again, uh, out of seven, four questions need to be answered. So in how many ways? Uh, nine, uh, seven, sorry, seven factorial over R is four factorial to seven minus four factorial is equals to 7 factorial upon 4 factorial 7 minus 4 would give you 3 factorial I can write this down as 7, 6, 5, 4 factorial upon 4 factorial and 3 factorial as 3, 2, 1 4 factorial, 4 factorial will cancel 3 will go to 6, uh, 3, 2 to 6, so 6 will go 7, 5 is 35 there you are so 35 ways you can write 4 questions can be chosen ok, let's go on to the next one now uh, this was question number 6. Moving on to question number 8. Uh, 7 points lie on a circle. How many triangles can be drawn using any 3 of these points as vertices? So 7 points, that means 7 combination uh, lie in how many triangles can be drawn in 3 of these points or vertices. Okay, you know that the vertex, the 3 points are the vertex, so here you are. So 7 factorial upon r is 3 factorial times 7 minus 3 factorial. This would give you 7 factorial upon 3 factorial. 7 minus 3 would give you 4 factorial. 7 factorial, I can write down as 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is 4 factorial upon 3 factorial. 3, 2, 1 times 4 factorial. This one will cancel out. 3, 2 is a 6. 7, 5 is a again 35. Right? So... Just remember for combination, this uh, formula that we have over here, n combination r is equal to n factorial upon r factorial 
n minus r per whole factorial. Okay. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Till then, take care.